that when you make something in the same time you are being made and whatever you then possess as a skill later you become possessed by that. My name is Angus Taylor. I'm a South African based sculptor, born and bred here. So we're a country of sharp contrast. Our sun is really bright and our shadows is very dark. So the intensity of the experience is I think what feeds into work. I try to make my work accessible. I don't want to speak to the cultured few that, that sort of visits or frequents museums and galleries. But there is intellectual depth and there is a seeking nature in it. If there's a dimension of the work that will draw the viewer in, then I sort of tick the first box. And then if there's another dimension of thought below that, if you think about where you are in time, how it relates to maybe other times, your story can maybe help somebody else's story. The specific sculpture I'm making for Art Angels is a tale about a black horse that went to South America with Cortez, Omar Zillo. A beautiful tale of how good intent may be made to and bad and how different cultures do not understand the specifics of another. So the donkey sitting on his bum in the same position El Morzillo did and it was captured as a monument and on him I'll emboss uh, text to explain some of the story but also some Latin terms. One of the Latin terms translated just means um, because this is in Latin it doesn't make it clever and again it's to, to downplay the whole monumental elitism of art. A lot of us in the art world realize how over focus on the commodity value of the, the sculpture instead of the tale that it's telling. One would think it might be putting your finger in the eye of the elitist art world, but it isn't. The, the gift economy of art is, is my drive, and if it can do so much, I mean, this is a vehicle that does a lot more than what I as an individual can do. And we can only get better as a country, of course, if we educate ourselves better. So I'm totally behind it.